guys welcome back to my channel so today we i'm going to show you to make uh this very easy a uh, ribbed hat so it has a little pom-pom over here and it's quite easy okay so what you're gonna need uh you, you're gonna need a 5.0 millimeters crochet hook i don't know if you can see it and a chunky hair a chunky yarn so in my case, I use a double yarn since I don't have a chunky yarn and I want um, my head to, to be really warm and chunky. So let's get started. So we're going to start with a chain 50 for an adult size. So if you're making for a kid size, you can do a chain 30 or maybe 25 according to the size of your head. So you can adjust uh, the chain size according to whoever you're making for. Okay, so I'm go in my case I'm going to do a chain 50. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So repeat that until you have a chain 50. So the chain uh, will determine the, the height of our hat. So that is from, from here until here, the top. So that is our chain size. So which is a chain 50. Okay, so repeat that until you're done with a uh, chain 50. And then I'll show you how to do the next step. After you're done with your chain, uh, in the next step, you're going to start with the second chain from the hook. So you're going to skip the first one and then go to the second one and then we're going to do a half double crochet all across until the end so i'm going to yarn over and then go with this uh, start from the second chain from the hook and go in the second chain go through so i have one two three three loops on my hook so and then i'm going to pull through all the three hooks together okay and then i'm going to yarn over again go in the second chain and then pull through and then pull through all through so i'm going to do a half double crochet all the way through so in go in the next one pull through pull through and then go in the next one then pull through Okay, so repeat that all the way around until the end. Okay, so go in the next one, pull through and pull through. Okay, so repeat that until the end and then I'll show you how to do the next step. So once you get at the end also, I'm going to do another half double crochet. Go in the last chain and then pull through and do the last half double crochet. Okay, so after I'm done with that, I'm going to turn my work. And then after you turn your work, you're going to do a chain one. Okay, and then starting with this one. So the, the chain one doesn't count as a stitch. So I'm going to start from the very end to make sure your work is straight. So I'm just going to do another half double crochet. But in this uh, row or in all the other rows until we finish our hat, we are going to work in the back loops only. So as you know, you have you usually have two loops when you're doing half double crochet. So we have the front loop and the back loop. So I'm going to do, I'm going to work only in the back loop. So I'm going to yarn over, go in the back loop and then do my half double crochet. Okay. And then I'm going to do that again, do another half double crochet in the back loop of the next stitch. Okay, and then pull through, do another half dub, double crochet in the back loop, pull through. So I'm going to repeat that until I get at the other end. Okay, so do all half double crochet in the back loop only until you get here at the end. So after you get here at the end, so sorry about my yarn, it had some kind of stitches, I mean some knots from the factory. So after you get here at the end, uh, make sure you do all the stitches. So even the one here at the end, I'm going to do my half double crochet and go in the other one. So here in this stitch and then pull through and then I'm going to pull through all of them. 
and then I'm going to turn again do a chain one okay and then I'm going to work again all half double crochets in the back loop only so I'm going to start at the very end here and then do half double crochet in the back loop and then do that again repeat half double crochet in the next back loop okay so repeat that all the way around okay so uh, what is the most important is how you do it here at the end so to make sure your edges are straight enough because if your edges are not straight enough uh, this here at the end it's not gonna be straight and it's gonna look uh, really awkward or it's not gonna be good so I'm going to show you uh, with the one that I'm working on so I'm working on another hat this one it's a white one okay so as you can see here, my ends are straight enough. Also in the other end, it's supposed to be straight enough. So what I do is uh, I make sure I do, you do all the stitches until the end. And when you do a chain one, make sure again, you start with the, at the very end and continue to do that all the way around until you reach here at the other end and also you're gonna do a chain one and turn I mean after you turn your work do a chain one and turn again so uh, when you're done here at the end you know this is the last stitch so you don't turn your work after here so you're going also to go here at the very end also and do another half double crochet like that so in that way, uh, your work will be straight enough. So I'll show you one more time, one last time, and then um, you can continue with your hat until it's long enough. Okay, so as you can see, I already did here the last stitch, a uh, half double crochet, but I'm not gonna turn my work since I have some, uh, <coughs> the chain one that I did here. So I'm going to make sure I do another half double crochet and go in the last stitch that I did my chain one over here and I'm going to do an another half double crochet there okay like that so that way uh, my work will be straight enough and then I'm going to turn again do a chain one okay and also start at the very end of the first stitch that you did so you're going to do a chain one go in the first stitch back loop and then start working again in the back half double crochet in the back loop only until the end okay so repeat that again in the back loop all the way around okay so you're going to do that all the way to the end so as you can see our work is going straight enough so because we are, we are working until in the last chain that we do okay so you're going to repeat that all the way through until your hat is long enough. So this is another slouchy hat that I'm making. It's going to be really long and uh, big. So anyway, make sure you repeat for as many rows as you can or until your hat, you can wrap, uh, you can wrap your hat around your head. So like that. And then I'll show you how to join the two parts together and also how to put the pom-pom here at the top Okay, so after I'm done with all my rows, this is how it looks like so it quite it's quite big because I want a slouchy heart So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to join those two the two ends together So we usually ha we have this end and we have the other end Okay, so I'm going to put them together and uh, make sure you don't cut your yarn when you're done so we're going to slip stitch all the way through uh, from this end until the other so you have to make sure your ends are even or they are on the same side okay so uh, what we're going to do so uh, we're going to put our crochet hook from this end uh, this stitch and the other stitch and then we make a slip stitch okay so I'm going to put my crochet hook through both ends okay and pull through okay and then pull through all through so that'll make it a slip stitch okay and then i'll continue that all the way through to the end so i'm going to the other one also slip stitch 
okay and then i'm going to continue like that so and then slip stitch okay so you have to make sure both the ends are even because if they're not even uh your hat is not gonna look nice okay so we'll continue like that until the end okay so i'm going to slip stitch also on the other crochet hook so the stitches are quite tight so I'll slip stitch again okay so as you can see it's forming some kind of pattern like that so that when you fold you fold your hat after you're done it's gonna look nice it's gonna have some kind of pattern which is almost the same as the ribbed stitches okay so you're going to continue like that all the way through until the end okay so i'm going to show you uh, a li some little bit more stitches so you're going to slip stitch again so it keeps sliding so slip stitch okay and then repeat that again in the next stitches okay so repeat that all the way through until the end so i'll see you when you're done uh doing until the end and then i'll show you how to do the top part okay so after you're done uh when you turn it over to the right side this is how it should look like so as you can see uh the stitches that i've done how it looks like it looks quite neat so it's kind of the same with the rib stitches okay so now we are going to go and do uh, the upper side. So I'm going to turn it over in the wrong side again. And then I'm going to show you how to do the top part. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use a needle uh, to do them both together. So this is uh, the inside part. This is how it looks like after I did uh, my stitches. So for the upper side, I'm going to tie a needle here at uh, the line where I stitched. So I'm going to start from here and then I'm going to uh, put my needle over there. So as you can see, I already tied it here at the end. And then I'm going to work uh, through the rib stitches. So I'm going to start over here and start to do my stitches. So I'm going to put my needle through the first rib stitch. And then I'm going to go in the next ribbed stitch and then do another. I put my needle through there. Okay, and then I'm going to pull through. Okay, so I'm going to pull it uh, loosely and then uh, we're going to pull it together through again when we are done. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to put to leave it like that. So that uh, we'll pull it later when we're done okay and then i'll start again in the next rib stitch okay so i'm going to go through the next one and then through the next one okay and pull through again Okay, and then I'm going to leave some loose, uh, the loose yarn like that. Okay, so I'm going to continue like that until the end. So I'll go again in the next rib stitch, put my needle through, and then go in the next one, put my needle through, and then pull it. Okay, so you're going to repeat like that all the way through until you come back here where you started. Okay, so after I'm done doing all my stitches, I'm going to come back here in the first loop that I created uh, when I was stitching and put my needle through. Okay, and then I'm going to pull some yarn on this side first, the first side. So you're going to pull it slowly. Okay, and then here on the second side too, I'm going to pull my yarn through like that slowly. So until we close the gap nice and neat I'm going to pull it through like that okay and then after that I'm going to cut uh, this yarn through and then I'm going to tie it together with the other yarn okay 
guess I'm just going to create a knot over here. Okay, so I'm going to do that tight enough. Okay. And then after I'm done, I'll take my uh, needle again. And then I'm going to weave through the ends. So I'm just going to pass my crochet, uh, my needle all the way through like that then i'm going to pass it through again through all the stitches so i'm going to do that to create uh to make the hole really small or to close the gap okay so i'll pass it through so until the gap is tight enough the way that I want. Okay, and then I'm going to close it. So I'll keep repeating that until uh, until the hat uh, is close enough the way that I want or until it's tight enough. And then after that, I'm just going to cut my yarn. And then tie it together with the other strand of yarn. And make it tight enough. Okay, so after that, so you can cut your little yarns that are left. And then I'm going to turn my hat to the other side. So you can wear it uh, just like that. Or in my case, I'm going to put my little pom-pom here at the top. Okay, so I'm just going to sew my pom-pom at the top here like that. So uh, this pom-pom, I bought it from uh, just the store. I don't remember the name of the store continue to sew it until it's tight enough okay so I decided to use a black hat to sew in uh, the my pom-pom because it's it's black too okay so I'm just going to sew it all the way through like that okay and then when I'm done I'm just going to make a little knot so I'm going to put my uh, needle through the the thread that I'm going to crochet and then pull through like that to make a knot okay and then I'm going to cut it like that okay so guys as you can see this is how it looks like then you can fold it up like that Okay, so that's how it's gonna look like when you wear your hat. Okay, so I made it really big because I like a slouchy heart or anything. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this pattern and I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you have any questions, you can comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.